closer to the scale, bub. Hunter, how do you fill one of these up? I figured it out. <laughs> you gotta go another 40 foot. <laughs> In the clouds, or? <laughs> yeah, I got me a new truck. truck you should comment how much it weighs there you go comment how much it weighs yeah drop it in the comments below i gotta get on my app scale bub
Hunter, how do you fill one of these up? I figure it out. <laughs> How about this one? Oh, that one be it. Oh, yeah. Right. Right here, bub. Right here. You got to go another 40 foot. <laughs> what an adventure. We're learning all kinds of things about fire trucks we didn't know. That's good. Hey, bub, just put like $15 in it, would be good. <laughs> yeah, watch out for them. It's a good thing we drove off and didn't go up there. <laughs> That's probably why they sold it. Oh, I know. It's going to be epic, Bob. Oh, no. It just goes for days. Oh, about fell to my death. Oh, it's got water. It goes up it, too. Yeah. One, two, three, four stages. Way out there. I ain't going up there. Yeah, you up. are. Yeah, you are. I think this is supposed to be closed. Oh. Well. What else is on this truck? <laughs> so we got her, we weighed 52,000 pounds. Ooh. We can only be 34,000 legally on the back axles. Mm. We're over. Huh. What are we gonna do about this? Fire truck, I guess Don't I have worry about it. Rules. That's right, bub. We make our own rules in a fire truck. Well, we're in Terre Haute, Indiana, right? Mexican food, hopefully it makes it there. Yeah. Then we're gonna head on back to the shop. Stop number one. That's right. Hey, did you pick up all the parts that fell off the top? Uh, no. We've seen some parts falling off the ladder and whatnot. Ah, uh, I didn't have to worry about stuff like that. 
All right, we're gonna get something to eat. Very nice. stopped in traffic we I thought about turning the sirens on so we could go around it but uh, in the meantime we're trying to figure out how the PAs work the radios work I don't want to turn the sirens on yeah I don't know if that's a good idea what's this box Firecom oh we'll figure it out Must be some C 
serious. Oh. We got some power. I wonder if they need a ladder. Hey, we got a 105 foot ladder. They need a ladder. Why? <laughs> Why? You think we're gonna make it up the hill? Oh, no, we got her, bud. Notice we have a breathing air tank back here. Oh yeah. So uh what's it been like two weeks since we hauled this thing in? We got kind of busy. Yeah. All on a dozer in North Carolina, all that good stuff. I'm ready to fire it up and uh see what happens to all this. Think we can figure it out? Oh yeah. I think we should do it back here so it don't break down in the front of the shop. <laughs> How's that sound? What are you trying to we say? We got about? a lot of controls to figure out. I'll uh I'll you go in and nothing. fire her up. For the ozone. Oh, I see. 
she's found the button to all the lights. There's a fire over here on this roof right here. That's probably close enough. We got 105 feet. Oh, hang on. There we go. Go ahead. Okay, we we'll definitely need to figure out how to get them outriggers. Yeah, I think so. From the Master Command Center. Way up high. Hey, where's your uniform? Oh, I didn't wear my hat today. Oh. I haven't got a lot. Oh, that's good. Let's see here. Okay. All the firemen are trying to tell us how to do it right now. Hmm. Oh boy. What about the outriggers? Yeah, where do those come into play? Uh. a door or anything on the sides we must figure it out uh oh oh what's that do boy it's a long ladder the tutorial from the fire department but they ain't messing around okay good now now we're ready ladder Hundred and five foot. Straight out.
could hear you. Turns this on. Just go real quick. Our pressure pressure gauge is blown up. A little more. Huh? A little bit more. Oh yeah. She's got a crack in her bud. On the gauge. We need to block that off. We don't need no pressure gauge. No, we don't need that stuff. All right, we'll block that gauge off, and we'll be back. Sissies. How about we shut it off? Oh. Okay. So that's the system pressure gauge. I'm going to. Block it off right here. Hey, <laughs> you and your Harbor Freight Crescent wrenches. <laughs> That's a good spot for him. Um, come on now. All right. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. We'll put this all back together. Don't mind the oil; it's everywhere. Okay. Take two. You ready for the magic candle? I'll leave this off this time. Uh, yep, we're good. Oh. I'm gonna turn this on. Oh, that wasn't the right line, bud. <laughs> God dang it. That was a party foul. Where's that go? Oh, I blocked the wrong one off. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna need that Harbor Freight wrench. <laughs> what size do you need it? Well, you can start with that size quarter inch, and by the time I get done, it'll be an inch and a half. Whatever you do, don't buy Harbor Freight Pittsburgh adjustable wrenches. They are crap. The hand wrenches, they're fine. Well, now listen, bub. You're getting all kinds of oil. A everywhere. nice guy would have brought me some pig mats, but I didn't know we were. Should I block the other one off or take the fitting out of that? And... What What was that one? I don't know. It's hard to see up there. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Alright. We're getting somewhere now, I think. Hopefully. You got that off back here? go again <laughs> why do I feel like I'm picking up the whole cab is there some kind of lock up here <laughs> I don't know but it does look like you're picking up the whole you better cab go check it out She goes out. Oh yeah. Oh, what a beautiful day to have a fire truck. Huh? 
see. Uh, I don't see anything, man. Is it going up and down? Going up what? Yeah, uh, well listen, bub, are you gonna stop there? <laughs> I feel good about about right there. My construction career didn't get above 40. We never really got above 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's a ways up there. Well, I can't even see the end of the ladder no more. Oh, yeah, bub. That's it. Oh, that ain't that high. I mean, bub, I feel like you could do that. Think so? Come on up here. Uh, I mean, it ain't even that far from here if you look up the camera. <laughs> that is a daunting task, my friend. I, I think after about 30, yeah. <laughs> Are we in the clouds or? Oh, looks like it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell how high that is, but boy, that is way up there. Like in the picture, it just looks like it's just a ladder up in the I sky. I don't think you guys realize, like we're touching the clouds up there right now. Yeah. And it goes up way higher. I don't think I could throw a rock that high. There's no way. Well, she works. She's pretty epic. Staying back. I don't think I can even get it on the picture. So, uh, what are we going to do with this, Mr. Kevin? Still can't. I'll tilt you guys this way. There you go. Gotcha. <laughs> it's been fun. I had a lot of people wanting us to give it to another fire department, which I'm fine with that, but I have to realize that it's not been in service for what did they say, 10 or 12 or yeah. years. And it's probably gonna need a lot of things. Yeah, it's working now, but I don't know if I'd go out and trust it yeah. without getting recertified. They've not had water in it for like 15 years. I know they said that, but there is an owning generator up here, uh, I think for the lights and stuff, a diesel generator. You guys can see it up there. Well, yeah, I'm not sure about the water pump. Is this the fuel tank for the generator? I don't know why it's like that there. Pump oil. Pump oil, oil pressure. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff on it, but the truck runs and drives fine. It's got the uh, 6B92, I know you guys can't see. But uh, we drove, how far is Terre Haute? 100 miles? Not quite. We drove it roughly 100 miles. This thing drives fine. It's got plenty of power for a fire truck, so you guys seen us drive it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to stick it on eBay for you guys at $1, no reserve. We're just going to let her go, see what happens. So you guys see this video. Uh, as soon as this video comes out at 3, the uh, auction will start on eBay at 3. So hop on over there. I'll put a link down below in the description. And uh, whatever it brings, it brings. I've had a lot of fun with it. And uh, I think we need to put a flag on it or something. Yeah. 
Sweet. It is super sweet. You need it? I don't think I've ever seen a fire truck this big. No. This is bigger than... So we have a local town to us, and they don't even have one this big. So. Like 75? Yeah, this is 105 foot. Well, it's a 1993... Um, what brand is this? We don't even know what we're selling. Oh, I don't know. Pierce? Fire truck. Fire truck. America. Fire all the lights, yeah, Pierce. All the lights and sirens seem to work. It has an 18,000 pound front axle I've seen. Um, yeah, 18,000 pound front. Gross rating. It's got 44,000 pound rear, so you got a 62,000 pound gross lump. Yeah, 8 to 93. Um, yeah, 6V92 Detroit. Allison Automatic. Thing's got plenty of power. If a guy took that bed off, you can make something pretty cool out of it. It's got uh, seats back here for some crew members too, so engine access is in there. Which I can't get open at the moment. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'll that, help. That's your job. I'm trying to hold I'll the camera. I'll be your little man white. There she is. <laughs> It's got a turp ski too. It does. So yeah, thing runs good, starts good. We've had no issues with it. All hydraulics seem good, so we had that one gauge that's bad, but nobody needs to know what hydraulic pressure we have, right? That's right. Light sirens, I think I've said that all that stuff works. Got a very nice body on it, but uh you can make something really cool if you take the body off of it. For sure. You got quite a bit of frame there, so but yeah. Hope you guys liked your little epic fire truck video picking this thing up. You just can't beat an old fire truck. It's got new batteries in it. You know that, so. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could drive it anywhere. We drove it. Had no issues. The tires are decent on it. I don't see any big cracks or anything on them, so. You guys want to fire this thing up and drive it. These Michelins look like they're in pretty good shape. No cracking. We got a little, few little cracks there, but nothing major. 12R 225 rubber. You guys seen the scale tick? It's got Hendrickson suspension on the back of it. Rubber block suspension. It's got, it's got 5,000 compartments. Yeah. All over. So wouldn't make a cool service truck. Take that ladder off of it. Yeah. There's all kinds of. I use that for your crane to lift out engines. Again, 105 foot ladder. So. Comment below. I don't. We've got too many projects to keep it. Speaking of projects, we've got an eighty thousand pound project just rolled in over there. So, yeah, you guys, make sure you subscribe for that. We've got plenty of cool videos coming out. There's going to be a bunch coming out on the eight fifty J rebuild pretty soon. Um, we got a normal dozer project, and Tucker's got an epic truck build going on too. So, that's all going to be later on in a month or so. But. Uh, Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, you're going to go down below and hit that like button, aren't they? Right. Here's all the other buttons that we couldn't find a while ago, huh? This is the magical one that sends oil up the top, so. Buttons galore. You guys want to buy us and fly in and drive it home, I guess we'll show you how to run it, so. That's right, we will. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. It's a pretty cool truck, so. It even comes with ladders, I guess, huh? They're in the picture now. We can't take them out. Pretty good size ladders. This right here is a pretty good sized ladder. I mean, it starts out like at four foot wide and it looks like it's what, maybe two foot at the top? <laughs> yeah. That's just so weird. It just keeps going. I'm glad I'm not a fireman yeah. on a ladder truck. <laughs> I, what I would do is I'd get out there on the end and I'd just let them take me out there. Oh yeah, I'd just ride around on it? Yeah. You want me to start it up? You climb up here and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just run me out there, bub. I'm not going all the way up there. I don't know about that, so. Well, as always, you guys got any comments, drop them down below. Be sure to go check out the eBay auction. It helps us out a lot. So if you guys are interested in a super cool fire truck. But, uh, yeah, she's got got a lot of potential. There's all kinds of things. You guys got any ideas that you could do with it? Drop it down below. I know uh, Heavy D Sparks made a roll-off truck out of one. That's definitely an option for sure. So I believe it's 400 horsepower that Detroit's rated at. So it's got the power. It's got the axles and that kind of stuff. So uh, it could be built into something pretty cool. But yeah, we appreciate everybody watching. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming up next. We'll catch you next time. No balls.
You got no siren? <laughs>